This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Peninsula Regional Medical Center. Calories, fat, sugar, and salt, they are four food landmines that add pounds and add to your risk of diabetes, heart disease, and death. Today, we break down the most dangerous foods lurking in your own kitchen. They are killers in your cabinets, death traps in your fridge. Ditch the soda, sweet tea, and fruit-flavored punch. Each 12-ounce can of pop has seven teaspoons of sugar. There's really some incredible concern, I think, about fructose. Beware of canned fruits and veggies, and be sure to buy them packed in their own juice, not syrup. It's this type of sugar fructose that is believed to feed cancer cells. We could be helping those cancer cells to grow and divide. Sausages, hot dogs, and bacon are the bad boys of the meat counter. They're high in fat and sodium. One slice of bacon has 194 milligrams of sodium. That's as much as an entire order of Wendy's french fries. Canned soup is better off left in the can. That's because the lining in the cans are made of the chemical BPA, often found in plastics. Some of them have BPA in them which is a hormone disruptor. In a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, people who ate canned soup every day for five days had urine levels of BPA that were 1,221% higher than those who ate freshly made soup. High levels of BPA can cause early puberty, ADHD, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. Two more don'ts, chips and crackers. They may be labeled low fat or trans fat free, but they still have plenty of salt and calories. The best advice, keep all of this out of your kitchen. If it's there, it will probably end up here. And it's not just what you have in your fridge, but where you place the food in your fridge that could sabotage your diet. Research shows the average person opens the refrigerator 22 times a day, so be strategic. Fill your eye level shelf with fruits and veggies. A Cornell study found you're nearly three times more likely to eat healthy food if it's in your line of sight. And while it's a good idea to keep fruits and veggies eye level, you still need to be careful, especially when it comes to grapefruit. Jimmy has more on that. Well, a lot of people enjoy a grapefruit uh, first thing in the morning. Maybe you're one of them. Some eat it as part of a weight loss diet, but did you know Interactions between grapefruit and some prescription drugs can cause life-threatening conditions, perhaps even death. Ralph Bunting is a pharmacist with Peninsula Regional Medical Center and joins us with more information on that. Ralph, thank you so much for joining us. Now, this is something that's been known for quite some time, but it seems like it's got, there's more occurrences now. What's, what's going on here? Well, as new drugs come out and uh, they're studied more as far as interactions with food, we learned that there are more significant interactions with these food products. Last year, uh, late last year, a Canadian Medical Association published a study that found that 44 medications had serious interactions with grapefruit or grapefruit juice, and that there were an additional 40, 40 or more that could have potential interactions with grapefruit. Uh, the FDA last year actually put out a warning regarding grapefruit consumption along with met certain medications and recommended that prescribers discuss grapefruit consumption with their patients before prescribing certain medications. So it's really not a new problem, it's just right. a problem that we're learning more about. So why grapefruit? What's, what's the deal with grapefruit? Grapefruit inhibits certain enzymes in the body and these enzymes are responsible for breaking down some medications. And so when the medication is not broken down by the enzyme, its level goes up in the body and you're more exposed to the toxic potential side effects of the medication. It's essentially the same thing as getting an overdose of a medicine. Uh, interestingly, some, some medications are not a, processed by the certain enzymes, so right. they may not be affected by grapefruit, but they may be affected by another process grapefruit in, inhibits, which is the absorption of certain medicines. So you can end up with low levels of other medicines. Okay, so let me make sure I understand this right. What you're saying is some of the things in grapefruit could actually affect the medicine I'm taking so it's even though I'm taking it according to directions it's almost like I'm getting an overdose absolutely because my body's not breaking it down or my body can't take it because what's happening in the grapefruit is keeping my body from absorbing it so either I'm getting too much or not enough absolutely so this can, is a really important thing here it is very important wow okay well what can you give me an, an example of what kind of medication should I avoid with there's actually numerous medications. As I said, there's 44 significant interactions that have now been identified and uh, numerous other ones that are potential interactions. So 
there's not a specific, it, it'd be a large list. Right. Uh, there are medications on there for your blood pressure, for right. cholesterol, for medications for your heart rhythm disturbances, anxiety medications, uh, certain antibiotics used to treat infections. Um, there, there's just a, it's a substantial list. It comes down to the specific medications that can, uh, that can interact with you. So I like grapefruit. Is there a safe level of grapefruit that I can? With most medications, there is not. It's a interaction between the grapefruit and this enzyme that lasts for 24 to 72 hours. So if you were to withhold the grapefruit until after you took your medicine, right. it would still be a pre present interaction the next day for your following doses. Oh, okay. Now, as far as levels go, everybody's different. So we don't know what a, what a significant amount of grapefruit juice would be for you. It's never been studied to say, well, you can have a little bit of grapefruit or a little bit of grapefruit juice because that could still produce a significant interaction. So it's essentially a yes or no kind of thing here. It, it is. If you're on the specific medications, it is. What about other citrus fruits? Are there other? There are other fruits with a, with a similar interaction. There's limes, pomelos, and Sevilla oranges, which are used for marmalade. Right. Uh, the limes really, the, the amount of lime juice that would be required to have an interaction is pretty large, and most people don't consume it. Um, but it's always best to check with your doctor or your pharmacist to see if the specific medications you're on interact with these fruits. And that, that point right there is the most important, isn't it? It is very important because, like I said, not every medication in, in any of the categories would interact with grapefruit juice, and it's potential that you could just quit, switch to something else if you are a diehard grapefruit fan. Right. So talk to your doctor, talk to your pharmacist. Yes. Ralph, thank you so much. Great information. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that information this afternoon. Now, just in case you would like a full list of those medications, you'll find it on our website, DelmarvaLife.com. Well, still to come on Delmarva Life, did you know one frozen pipe could cost you $15,000 in damages? Even though it's been mild recently, those freezing temperatures are sure to make a comeback pretty quick, as a matter of fact. Up next, State Farm helps us avoid the winter woes. But one thing that can help you keep warm and save your money on your energy bills is this Renai tankless water heater. Austin Cox Home Services is teaming up with Delmarva Life and will be giving away a $3,500 Renai tankless water heater, maybe to you, to one of our viewers. Here's how you can enter to win. Go to DelmarvaLife.com. On the left side of the home page, you'll find the contest button. Click on that, okay? That's going to take you directly to the Austin Cox Home Services Facebook page. All you have to do is like the page and then fill out the entry form for the tankless heater. And by the way, good luck.